Hello everyone, this is the Earth Science Reference Table review and today's topic is dew point. So first of all, what is dew point? So you can see dew point, there is a degree Celsius. That means dew point is a temperature, all right? So how can we find dew point? I'm not going over the definitions and other details, just going over the reference table. In the next video, I'll be explaining more about dew points. Um, so from this um, table, you can see this column, the first column on the left, you can see the dry bulb temperature. You can see the start, uh, it started from negative 20 and it's up to 30. And the other one, you can see the difference between wet bulb and dry bulb temperature. Okay, so this one, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 15. This is the difference between wet bulb and dry bulb temperature. All right, and these values, you can see negative 20, negative 33, and there is there are a lot of uh, values here. So these are all dew points, okay? So let's see how can we um, find dew points, or let's just look at some of the region's questions. So question number one, I am using this book. So what is the dew point when the dry bulb temperature is 14 degrees Celsius and the wet bulb temperature is 8 degrees Celsius? So the dry bulb is 14 and the wet bulb temperature is 8, and we have to find the dew point. So the dry bulb is 14. So we know that this is the column for dry bulb. So we can see this is 14. So let's stop here. And the next one is the wet bulb temperature, which is 8. Now, be careful because this is the difference between wet bulb and dry bulb. This is not the value of the wet bulb which is 8. So we know the wet bulb temperature is 8. So let's write it here for now. And this is the dry bulb temperature is 14. So what's the difference between 14 and 8? So if you do a little calculation you'll see the difference between the wet bulb and the dry bulb is 6. Now here's the important thing, don't say it's negative 6 okay? because you, you may subtract uh, 14 from it and you can get negative 6 It's just the difference if you're just looking for the difference It's just the value which is 6. There is no positive and negative thing here All right, so we know the difference between the wet bulb and dry bulb is 6. So let's see where is 6 So here is my 6 So we know the dry bulb temperature is 14. We know the difference between the wet bulb and dry bulb which is 6 now if you uh, Use this column and keep going down and uh, let's stop where you have 14 and you can see the dew point is 1. All right, so we just found the dew point, which is 1. Okay, so that's the answer for question number 1. So you can see that option 1, 1 degree Celsius. We just found the dew point. So that's how do you find the dew point. So let's look at another problem. Question 2 on this book is similar type of questions so I'll look at question number three so a student uses a sling psychrometer so as sling, a sling psychrometer is used to measure the dew point so we'll go over this um, in the next video if the dew point was six degrees Celsius so in this problem you will have the dew point which is six degrees Celsius and the dry bulb temperature is 10 so we know the two things uh, and we have to find what's the wet bulb temperature so we know the dew point uh, is six and we know the dry bulb temperature is 10 so let's uh, uh, identify my dry bulb temperature which is 10 so if you look at this here you can see this is my 10 and the and the dew point is 6 so if it's 10 remember these are all dew point which is 6 so we know the dry bulb temperature is 10 and the dew point is 6 the question is asking what is the wet bulb temperature okay what's the wet bulb temperature okay so if we know the dew point is 6, we can find the difference between the wet bulb and dry bulb. So here it is 2. Okay, so now we know that the dry bulb temperature is 10. The difference between the wet bulb and dry bulb is 2. So what is the wet bulb temperature then? Remember, the 2 is the difference. Okay, so if I know, oh, okay, the dry bulb temperature is 10, and the difference between the wet bulb and dry bulb is 2, so I can do two things. I can add 10 and 2, which I can get 12. Or I can do 10 minus 2, which is 8. Remember, the 10 is in the middle. So the difference, if the difference is 2, that means it could be 12 or it could be 8. Okay, so let's look at the answer. Remember, the difference is just the difference. There is no negative and positive. So you can see we have 8. We don't have 12. It means, obviously, the answer is 8. 
Okay, so that's my answer. So this is how can you use the reference table to find dew points. In the next video, I'll be explaining uh, more about dew points, what is it, and some other um, advanced uh, region questions. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.